Lulu, I need that coat for my filming, darling. Is it okay? Can you kind of move? Lulu? Is it going to happen? Can I get my coat? Maybe? Would that be a yes or a no? Guess that's a no. Do I have the heart to shove my Lulu off my coat? Do I? <sighs> I don't know. Well, it certainly is a dog's life. <laughs> Hello and welcome to my channel I'm Andrew. Today's video is my Bista haul. Things to do with Bista, things that I bought from Bista and so on and so forth. So if you've watched my last vlog you will have seen that I recently went to Bista and picked up a few items and some items I couldn't get so I looked for them online and ended up getting them from the outnet so I will show you all of that as well. I also have the coat that I wore at Bista which Lulu is currently lying on and I don't know if I have the heart to um, tell her to move but I don't know. But anyway, get your glass ready for a nice wee haul. Cheers and um, let's get started. Okay, so I have Gucci, Michael Kors, bits and pieces. So I'm going to start with Michael Kors. Now I have already worn this quite a few times and absolutely love it. It's a jumper from Michael Kors and I was wearing it in one of my videos. I think it was my unboxing video um, from bits and bags from Tanya so this is an off the shoulder Michael Kors jumper this retailed for around about um, 175 pounds 174 pounds was the original price of it and um, it was priced for 44 pounds in Michael Kors then um, because that day we had bought three items my daughter-in-law and I we got another 30% so it was an absolute bargain and I love it and I have worn it so much and just now um, I'm wearing black because it's something we do because I'm in mourning because I've recently lost my mum so and I just wear black so this is nice because it adds just a little something more I don't know if you're supposed to be wearing things like that when you're in mourning but hey ho um, so yeah this is my Michael cause jumper worth every penny and I've also been asked about quality of things in Bista and to me the quality is the same as you know uh, as if I was to go and buy it from Michael Kors I love Michael Kors clothing and I know Michael Kors gets a lot of flack here on YouTube but I have bought quite a few um, clothing items from Michael Kors and I absolutely love their quality so yeah this has washed well so yeah absolutely love and recommend and this would be one of the first shops that I visited when going back to Bista which I plan to do so that's my first item and I'm going to stick with Michael Kors because I also have a dress here from Michael Kors now this is not from Bista but again if you've watched my vlog which I will link below in my description uh, box you have seen Kelly my daughter-in-law unboxing a very similar dress to this um, she paid the, the dress in Michael Kors at Bista was priced at um, £44 and again we got an extra 30% off of that as well the only difference between Kelly's dress and this dress is hers has the bell sleeves. This one doesn't. I ended up ordering mine from um, the outlet and paid probably double the amount that Kelly paid. But the dress is slightly different. The quality and everything else about the dress is exactly the same as Kelly's. Hers is in navy blue and this is in black. The only difference being in the actual style of the sleeve just here. It's a bell sleeve. Hers is a bell sleeve. This one isn't. I think I paid 
80 odd pounds for mine i kind of ended up getting a discount code as well so yeah absolutely love it and i ordered this because i couldn't get the dress that kelly had got i had originally seen it couldn't get it in my size it was the only one that they had left fitted kelly and it looked absolutely stunning on kelly so she bought it and then she actually found this for me and um so i just ordered it so yeah not from vista but they did have a very similar dress to this at Vista and half the price that I paid for it. I don't know what the original price of this was, but I reckon going by Michael Kors pricing, it would have been around about the 200 mark, around about there anyway. But yeah, quality is fabulous. Everything is exactly the same, like I said, with Kelly's. Um, these grommets just here, when you're wearing it i think i have a photograph of me wearing it and i'll insert it just here so yeah these grommets as you can see you know you can see your skin through them but not very much so yeah absolutely love it so i, I wanted to put this in because i had seen it at Bista and that's why i got it Bista is a fabulous place there is everything and anything there is the white company there's prada there's gucci you know the only places that i didn't see and you wouldn't expect to get there things like louis vuitton and chanel but um fendi everything honestly i i kind of scanned through a lot of the shops in my last vlog so if you are interested then it's my last vlog's well worth a visit also there's a cosmetic shop there as well is it called the cosmetics company is it let me see what it's called um it says here corporate store bista um that's all it says estee lauder companies that's all it says so um i i you know i love estee lauder products so i ended up picking up my perfectly clean toner and this is a multi-action hydrating toning lotion absolutely love this i do try other toners but you know at the end of the day this is my favorite paid 18 pound for this at Bista. can't remember what it actually retails for um estee lauder i haven't tried this uh, particular perfectly clean but this is a triple action one so it's a cleanser toner and makeup remover ideal for traveling when you don't want to be taking a lot of products with you again i haven't tried this one i do use the i have used the perfectly clean which i absolutely love the kind of creamy one that you can also use as a mask um, and i do love that they didn't have that if they had that i would have gone for that so i'm going to try this and i will let you know when i do my empties once i've emptied it what i think of it i think it's time for a wee glass of wine or a little sip at least so that was the other two items i got from Bista. so i got those two items and I didn't get the dress, I got the jumper from Bista and also I picked up a little Gucci item as well. Now, I have been wanting one of these for a long time but couldn't decide whether I wanted a Louis Vuitton one or if I wanted a Chanel one or a Fendi one or a Prad one. I really, really couldn't decide which one I was going to go for. But I decided on Gucci. Right, let's open it up and let me show you what it is. So as you can see, I mean, the packaging is there. Even as an outlet, you, you're still getting all the packaging. So Gucci bag and gucci box so it's a very small item and it's something that i don't have in my collection and i'm not one of these people that likes to have multiples of things i'd like one item to do the job and that's it so here it is here so it's a card holder now the only other thing that i have that's quite similar to a card holder is this now this is actually a chanel coin purse so officially it's not a card holder and this is the smallest of what I like to call purses that I have and I like to use this in my Chanel bags and I have been using it 
and my palm springs mini because of the size but because this is not very big and i have to kind of squash things into here and this being lambskin i always worried about kind of squashing it in next to items so i wanted something that i didn't have to worry about i was very close to getting the louis vuitton one and i was going to get it in the mon monogram what put me off the louis vuitton one was the amount of slots that it has uh, my son has the louis vuitton one and it's the um kind of the grey and black monogram one and that particular one has more slots if i'd got it i would have probably got it like i said in the one monogram and i think that only gave you three slots like a middle one and one on either side and i wanted more than that i tried my cards on i tried my cards in the card holder in gucci and there's plenty of room they fit i don't have any cards here but I had cards in there but I don't um, and they fitted perfectly so it has if you can see here it has the monogram Gucci and I do have a Gucci key pouch as well and it has worn superbly so I knew the quality I was getting this does have glazing around the side and I decided to go for this pink I'm not really a pink type of person but i decided to go for the pink they did have different choices of color because it's something that i don't have in my collection and easy to find in these darker bags so this one has one two pockets on either side just here and it has the middle pocket just here as well i haven't used it yet this is a true unboxing sort of well I've opened it and looked at it but I haven't used it as yet but I plan to use it with my mini palm springs and it's something I really don't have to worry about it and even in, even in like my small evening bags this would be ideal so I can put any cards that I want in either side and then just put any cash or notes just in the middle pouch there this cost me 90 pounds at the gucci outlet store and um, yeah i was really very impressed impressed with gucci even though i got into trouble for filming in gucci i was really very much impressed of, because they did have a good selection of items a lot of people say it depends on the time of year you go but um you know i knew i was looking for a card holder so I got my card holder and I'm very very pleased with it I think these kind of retail for about 125 pounds from Gucci you know something like that so I paid about 90 I think 125 140 I can't remember something like that so I paid 90 pounds for that so I think that was well worth it so let's get on to the coat so I'm going to have to move Lulu just to show you the coat. I just because I wore this in the vlog, I just wanted to talk about it as well. So, Lulu, Lulu is my beautiful girl. So Lulu's very comfortable on the coat. So I'm not going to move her. But what I will do is I will do another haul with things like this jumper, things that I bought from Zara, things that I bought before I went to Cyprus. So, if you want to see more uh, hauls from me, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Press that like button, because there's quite a few to come. I've still got my airport haul to do, my pre-Cyprus haul, things like this. This is from Zara. And, um, yeah, so cheers, and I'll catch you next time. Bye! <laughs>